Hi, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use the injector module for the Tekken Infinity 200 Pro. Injectors give you valuable dispensing capabilities in up to 384 well plates, ideal for high sensitivity applications such as flash luminescence. The injector module consists of one or two syringes. Before connecting the injector module, make sure your instrument is switched off. Put the module onto your device and connect it with the cable provided. Never connect or disconnect the module while the instrument is turned on. Take off the cover. Please do not touch the injector needles to prevent any damage. Put the waste tub on the plate carrier before using the injector module and empty regularly. Priming is necessary to fill the system with liquid before a measurement and to remove air bubbles from the tubes. Rinsing is needed to clean the system after each use. The injector carrier needs to be in the service position before priming, rinsing or optimizing the injection speed. Remove the injector carrier if it is still in the instrument and put it into the holder of the module. Insert a suitable container beneath the injector. Insert the tubes into the carbon needle. Fill the storage bottles with the required reagents and put them into the holder. The carbon needle ensures that the tube reaches the bottom of the flask for optimal aspiration. We will now show you how to prime using the eye control software. In the eye control software, you can find the injector options under settings, then injector. Select the injector you want to adjust the priming parameters for. Two different tube lengths are available. Adjust the priming volume depending on your tube length. The speed and refill speed are dependent on the individual liquid viscosity. The higher the viscosity, the lower the speed should be. You can save your settings for future use. Click Start Prime. You can also use the buttons on the module to prime the injector. Remove the plug if you haven't already and insert the injector carrier into the injector port. Press the carrier gently into the port to lock it in place. The instrument is equipped with a sensor that displays an error message when the injector carrier is not in the correct working position. To perform an injection step, drag and drop the injector strip into the work pane. The injector can be used in two distinct modes. Dispense will inject the entire plate in a plate-wise fashion and then perform any subsequent steps, such as a measurement. When used in combination with the well strip, injection can be used to inject a single well, followed directly by a measurement action. This can be used for fast kinetic applications like flash luminescence. Depending on the configuration of your injector module, you can select injector A or B. The volume can be defined depending on your requirements. Please remember that the speed and refill speed are dependent on the viscosity of your liquid. You can optimize the speed settings in the service position to find the correct parameters. You can also choose either a standard refill mode or to refill before every injection. When choosing the standard mode, the syringe will be refilled before the liquid is fully depleted. During the measurement, the injector module will inject the liquid as defined in your method. Use the backflush function to save valuable reagents. To wash your instrument after use, bring the injector carrier into the service position again. Put the tube in a rinsing solution to flush the system for cleaning. Adjust the washing parameters under Settings, then Injector. Instead of volume, you can adjust strokes, with each stroke corresponding to one filling of the syringe. You can save your rinsing parameters for future use.
Prevent clogging of the syringes and cross-contamination by cleaning your injector module regularly. Visually inspect the syringes and tubes for leaks and thoroughly flush the whole system with distilled or deionized water after each use and when the syringe is not in use. Once a month, check the valve connections and tighten them if necessary. Do not allow the syringes to run dry for more than a few cycles. The injector system must be cleaned weekly with ethanol to remove precipitates, such as salts, and eliminate bacterial growth. Thoroughly flush the system with buffer or distilled water, then rinse with ethanol. Rinse the fully lowered syringes with ethanol. Pump all the fluid from the syringe and tube into a waste container. Rinse the injector system with ethanol, followed by distilled or deionized water. Leave the fluid pathway filled for storage. Carefully clean the end of the injector needles with a cotton swab soaked in ethanol or isopropanol. You can find a reagent compatibility list in the instructions for use. Please check the list thoroughly to know which reagents must not be used with the injector system to prevent any damage. During yearly preventative maintenance, your tech and service engineer renews tubing, valves and syringes. If you need any further help, please find detailed instructions in the manual or on the USB drive. And please do not hesitate to reach out to our help desk experts.